Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Daily Devotional this morning. I'm Pastor Jin of Little Falls United Methodist Church. I'm here to share with you the Daily Devotional with the Upper Room. I hope this devotional helps you with your daily journey with God and fellowship with Jesus Christ today. Today is April 26th, 2023, Wednesday. The theme of today's devotional is God Who Weeps With Us. The scripture is from John chapter 11, verses 32 through 33. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, he knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. Amen. Another scripture is from Psalm 35. God's anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Amen. Today's story is from uh, Nevinemi Navemani, who lives in India. My son, who was 19 and the first year medical school, died suddenly in a swimming accident. We are devastated. In our pain, we questioned God. Why this happened when his future seemed so bright? Many friends visited us to comfort and pray with us. One of my husband's friends wrote a letter in which he said, You must be wondering where God was at the time. He was right there weeping with you. These words comforted me and I was reminded of the time Jesus grieved with Martha and Mary when their brother Lazarus died. God is indeed right, by our side grieving when we grieve. As time went by, I decided to enroll in seminary to study the scriptures and learn more about the God who weeps with us. I was ordained and worked as a pastor for a few years. I was able to empathize with families who were going through an experience of loss and grief. For decades after the loss of my son, God is still strengthening me. I have known God's grace and comfort through the love and encouragement of my husband, my children, and my church community. Our God of compassionate, uh, com- compassion and love is good all the time. And I know that a day will come when I will join my son in God's heavenly presence. Amen. Many people um, assume that God does not have any emotions. I mean, God cannot have empathy or sympathy uh, for whatever we face because God is God and God is uh, seemed, I mean, God looked like uh, being far from us. Because God knows everything, because God knows the future, the glory that we will have. So maybe many people think, God does not have, does not cry. God does not have any empathy or sympathy uh, in our lives. However, it is not. Through Jesus, God, God showed us God is with us. And God is crying with us. And God is laughing with us. 
God has emotion. That's why we have emotions and feelings. We have inherited God's characters. We are created in God's images. God cries because God sees that we are crying. When you uh, have the moment that your lovely, loving one, loving ones are crying or in some situations, you, your heart will also cry and your heart also in trouble. When my kids has have in tr have troubles and hardships, and when they are sick or when they are sad, my heart is troubled. I'm also feel their sorrow, their heartbroken. Because I'm their parent and I love them. Likewise, God loves us and God does not ignore our feelings and emotions, whatever comes. Although God knows what way we should get through, however, when we get through the hard, hard part, hard times, still, God's heart is not good. God has sorrow. God has tears because of us, because of God's beloved children who, is, who are you and I. Church family, I hope you remember that God has feelings, God has emotions, and God expressed God's feelings and emotions when we have the situations. God also expressed His joy when we have joy. Like when our kids or our loved ones, family members or friends are happy, we are also happy. Church family, God is not far from us. God is with us. God is close to us. And God shares our whole feelings and emotions and our whole lives. So, please come to God. Pour out your heart whenever you have joy or concerns. Let God know your hearts. Let God know your feelings. God is, God is ready to listen to you. And God will have the empathy and sympathy to you, for you, with you. Not only that, God will help you to have peace in your heart, comfort in your heart, and God's presence in your lives. Our God is great. Our God is good. Our God has compassion and love toward us. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you for your steadfast love and abiding presence. Fill us with your grace and peace especially in times of pain and brokenness. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a great day today and I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day and thank you. Bye-bye.